welcome to the session. In this session, first of all we will discuss drawbacks of unweighted index numbers. Now the first drawback of unweighted index numbers is that for the unweighted index numbers, the weight of each commodity is considered as wrong. That is, each commodity has equal importance, but in actual practice, amounts spent on all the items are not seen. Now here, for the quotation, the number of items or the quantities used does not affect the value of index numbers. And here the prices are quoted in different units and give no indication of the relative importance of each item. And also the units in which prices are given affect the value of index very much. And now let us discuss the use of weights. Now in simple index numbers, all commodities are given equal importance, but in actual practice, all commodities don't have equal importance. For example, for a consumer, wheat is more important than vegetables or pulses. Clothes are more important than a video. Now to show the relative importance of different commodities, Weights on some definite basis are used. Therefore, when the index numbers are constructed taking into consideration the importance of different commodities then they are called the weighted index numbers Now, weights are assigned to bring out economic importance of the commodities. Now the weights can be production figures, consumption figures, sales figures, etc. Now the method of construction of index number decides the type of weight to be used. Now in aggregate method, We use quantity weights, which means the amount of commodity produced 
distributed or consumed in a certain period. And in case of price relatives, we use value weights. Now a value weight combines price with quantity produced, sold, distributed or consumed. Now if we want to decide that from which time period we should take the weights, then the base year quantities or current year quantities or average or base and current year or some such combinations of these methods are used to decide the time period to take the weights. Now let us discuss the types of weighted index numbers. Now the weighted index numbers are of two types. First is the weighted aggregate index numbers and the second is the weighted average of price relatives. Now let us discuss the weighted aggregate method. Now in this method, commodities are assigned weights on the basis of quantities purchased and there are some criteria on which the weights are assigned. So the criteria on which the weights are assigned are on the basis of The current year quantity, then on the basis of base year quantity, and then on the basis of both current and base years quantity. Or we can say, if the weights W of each item are given with the base prices P0 and current prices P1, then the index number based on weighted aggregates is given by P01 is equal to summation of P1 into W over summation of P0 into W into 100. Now when the quantities of the base year are taken as weights, then the weighted index number is constructed by using the formula P01 is equal to summation of P1 into Q0 over summation of P0 into Q0 into 100. Now let us discuss one example for this. And in this, we have to calculate the weighted index number for the year 1980 using weighted aggregate method from the following data. Now in the first column the commodities A, B, C and D are given to us and in the second column the weights assigned to the particular commodities are given as 
3, 2, 4, 7 and then in the next column the price in dollars for the particular commodities in the year 1970 is given as 5, 10, 8, 3 and in the year 1980 it is given as 7, 11, 12 and 6. Now here, the year 1980 is the current year. So the prices for the year 1980 are the current prices which are denoted by P1. And for the year 1970, the prices are the base prices which are denoted by P0. Now, to find the weighted index number, we have to find the value of summation of P1 into W and summation of P0 into W. Now for calculating this, in this table we will make two more columns of P1 into W and P0 into W. So we have made two columns and in this column we have the different values of P0. So here P0 into W will give 15 and for the commodity B W into P0 will be equal to 20 and for C it will be 4 into 8 which is 32 and then for D it will be 7 into 3 which is 21. Now in the last column we will find P1 into W. Now these are the different values of P1 that is the current prices and these are the different values of the weights. So for the commodity A P1 into W will be 21. For B it will be 11 into 2 which is 22. For C it will be 12 into 4 which is 48 and then for D it will be 6 into 7 which is 42. Now on adding the different values of P0 into W we are getting summation of P0 into W is equal to 88 and here we are getting summation of P1 into W is equal to 133. Now the index number, that is the weighted index number P01 will be equal to summation of P1 into W over summation of P0 into W into 100 which is equal to 133 over 88 into 100. So we have calculated the weighted index number by applying the weighted aggregate method. Now let us discuss the weighted average of price relative method. Now in this method we use the price relative Here first of all the price relatives for the current year are calculated on the basis of the base year prices of the commodities. When the base and current prices of a number of items along with weights of quantities are given, then their weighted average of price relatives is given by P01 which is equal to summation of P1 over P0 into 100 the whole into W whole upon summation W which is equal to summation of 
trans relatives into weights the whole whole upon summation of weights which can be written as summation of W into X over summation of W where x is equal to summation of p1 over p0 into 100 the whole. And if p0 is the price of commodity in the base year and q0 is the quantity of the commodity in the base year, then its weight is given by P0 into Q0. So the above formula will become that is P01 will be equal to summation of P1 over P0 into 100 the whole into now the weight is given by P0 into Q0 so in place of weight, we will write P0 into Q0 whole upon summation of P0 into Q0. So if weights are not given, then we find the base year values P0, Q0 for each commodity and consider them as weights. Now let us discuss an example. And in this, we have to calculate the weighted index number for the year 1991 from the given data by using weighted average of price relatives method. Now in the first column, the items A, B and C are given to us. Then in the next column, the price in dollars in the year 1990, which is taken as the base year for the year 1991. So the prices in the base years are denoted by P0 and the different values of P0 are given as 120, 180 and 20 and the prices in the current year are given as P1 and the different values of P1 are 150, 200 and 30 and the quantity in the base year that is the year 1990 are denoted by Q0 and the different values of Q0 are given as 10, 15 and 5. Now in this question, weights are not given. So for this, we will find the base year values P0, Q0 for each commodity and consider them as weights. So now in the next column, we will find out the weights which are denoted by W and which is equal to P0, Q0. So here for the commodity A, P0, Q0 will be equal to 1200. Then for B, it will be equal to 2700. Then for C, P0, Q0 will be equal to 100. Now, we will make two more columns and in the second last column, we will calculate the price relatives that is X which is equal to P1 over P0 into 100 and in the last column, we will find W into X. So, first of all, let us calculate the different values of X. So, for the commodity A, X will be equal to P1 which is 150 over P0 which is 120 into 100 and on calculating this will be 125 for the commodity B it will be 200 over 180 into 100 which is 111.11 and for the commodity C it will be equal to 30 over 20 into 100 which is 150. 
Now let us calculate W into X. So for the commodity A, W into X will give $150,000. Now for the commodity B, W into X will be equal to $299,000. Nine hundred and ninety seven. And for the commodity C, W into X will be equal to fifteen thousand. Now on adding the different values of W into X, we get summation of W into X is equal to Four hundred sixty four thousand nine hundred and ninety seven. And on adding the different values of W, we get summation W is equal to four thousand. Now, the weighted index number P not one will be equal to summation of W into X over summation W. So here. P01 is equal to summation of W into X over summation W which is equal to 464,997 over 4000 which is equal to 116.25 So we have calculated the index number for the year 1991 with the year 1990 as the base year by using the weighted average of price related method so in this session you have learned about the drawbacks of unweighted index numbers and then weighted index numbers and methods of constructing weighted index numbers so this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session